I've snuck out to the shed before the wife gets home from work, just while the kids are inside watching TV. I'm just gonna play with the grill on bump stock a little bit. So, I think that looks a bit boring. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this chrome trim off, I'm gonna cut the inside of this grill out, I'm gonna put some, some uh, mesh in this, just some mesh I got lying around in the shed, and I'll paint it all black, and I'll see what that looks like. So this is our grill now. You can see here, I'm gonna take this trim out. You cut all of this out here, all that's going. And I think I'll put a red type R Honda badge on it. So in order to take that chrome piece out of the grill, we've got these screws here. So, I've got to take some screws out. I was going to use a coiler drill, but I don't actually have a small enough bit. And I don't have the right screwdriver in the shed, because most of my screwdrivers and stuff stay in my four-wheel drive. Because I am a four-wheel driver at heart, it is a little bit different for me to be lowering something and bump stopping it. I normally like to go higher. So I'm just going to wander out to the four-wheel drive and get a screwdriver. All right, let's go for a walk and go and find a screwdriver. Now this is my favorite car in the whole world and no, it's not bump stopped. I do have a screwdriver in here. It will work, which will be that one. All right, let's see if this one fits. Sure does. So I've undone all the screws on the grill. Uh, this bit of chrome here should just lift off like that. And we're going to cut all this out. I'm going to put a mesh in there and make it look mad. Right, so after a little bit of consideration, I decided the best way to cut this is probably going to be with a jigsaw. Um, so I've grabbed a jigsaw, and uh, you can see here that we've actually I've put some cuts in it. I've just took a bit of cut across the top. And then hopefully that grill section will come out. A few arguments with the jigsaw. We're going to pull this out. So there we go. I've got one handed here. All right, so there we have it. Honda no more. Beautiful. So now we're going to cut some mesh and put it in there. Right. Some mesh. I think it's vermin mesh actually, something you would have used in a, a cavity on a house at some stage, or I had some left over. So that mesh is going to go down over the top of the grill here, so I'll roll it out in a second and I'll show you, and we're going to paint it black with the chrome trim on. So you can see here, I've put a couple of little screws in there just to hold it in place, and I've cut holes out for where all the different uh, locking tabs go and the screws go. I've still only sort of done it a rough fit at the top because I've got to work out how I'm going to finish that and it will all get painted black and I'm going to just tidy up some of the cuts um, then put the chrome trim back on and see how it looks then I'm going to paint it black so the grill's coming along well um, I've just put the chrome uh, strip back in just to get an idea of where I need to cut you can see there that's looking okay so just a bit of trimming up to do at the top there along as you can see, and uh, then I'm going to paint. There we have it. It's cut to size. See a few screws in there. Won't see them once they're black. I'm going to take the chrome trim off, give it a coat of paint, put the chrome trim back on. It'll be ready for a Type R badge and bump. I'll have a little bit of plywood down on the ground. I don't want my nice shed floor to be black. All right, we're going to give it a bit of a coat. I'm not too worried about the outside because bump stock is getting resprayed. I've let the paint dry on the grill overnight just so it wasn't so tacky and I've put it back together. Just want to show you what it looks like. Let's have a look. See, it's, uh, it's looking a little bit more sporty. I think so anyway. But the main thing is it's a zero dollar upgrade to bump stock. And as you know, bump stock is being built on donations and the support of wonderful people such as yourselves. 
uh, in supporting these uh, three young guys building bump stop. So uh, yeah, that's our zero dollar grill upgrade. Uh, you can see we probably will get a Type R badge for it, but uh, we might put a bit of real plastic behind this one. It might look a little bit like that. So thanks again for your support with Project Bumpstop, and we'll see you next time.